Hello everyone and welcome back to Jack Scraps. Thanks for joining me today for our fourth and a final video in the 8x8 interactive mini album series. This is part of a design team project for Country Craft Creations using the Simple Stories Boho Baby and I'm excited to bring you the final product. So let's get started. One of the great things about sharing this mini album with you is that I've received permission from my great niece to share with you her beautiful daughter who was born in November of last year. So this mini album will give you lots of ideas on how to put your photos into the mini album. We often see our mini albums created but rarely see them with photos. So this is a very special treat. The final mini album size came out to nine by eight and a half, and it has a two inch spine. So you can see here, I've mainly used the decorative paper as well as some rose gold mirror card to back it with. I think the mirror card just really gave it that added punch. I didn't add anything else here, and I don't think that I will. On the back of our mini album, I used the paper as well as the mirror card again, added one of the rainbow bits here on the bottom and put this little sentiment, love you forever. I think that's so sweet. On the front, I've used the mirror card once more and I used some of the decorative paper, but on top of that is one of the Boho Baby frames. Now what I've done is taken this and added it up on some foam adhesive so that it could create a pocket. I wanted to be able to slip in the photo, but also allow freedom to change the photo if you wanted to. So you can have one here on the front insert. You could even have one here on the back, or you could just write some details about the photo on the front. A really nice versatile piece. I just love how that tucks right in there. And what I've done as well is added some chipboard pieces to the front of this to just give it a little more decoration. I love a simple cover. <laughs> so when we go inside, you're going to see four pages that are interactive with some pop-up features. It also has a fourth of an inch expanded hinge, which makes the pages lay flatter as you go through the album. On the front inside cover, I've used the pattern paper as well as my colors Polar Bear cardstock, and this has a really nice shimmer to it. I just love that white color. I've used one of the Boho Baby frames again, added it onto foam adhesive, creating another pocket. Here's my little insert. Her little outfit just matches this collection perfectly, and then you can add another photo on the back here as well. Now I did not add acetate to these frames on the inside, I did on the outside, but you could do that as well. I just didn't think it was necessary when it's on the inside. Over here I just added a few of these stickers for a little decoration. Before we go into our first page, I did want to point out the fourth of an inch extended hinge. So as you can see, this is the base of the cover. This fourth of an inch here is the extension and then at this line on is the page. So you see here how nice and flat these four pages lay. So on our first page here, I created a pull out feature and on the front, I used some of the journaling cards and cut aparts to create this layout. Gives you plenty of room to write information about the images. And this is a pocket and inside we have a little four by four journal card where a photo could go on the back. And then throughout the album are these adorable little tags that I cut apart. And on the back of them, you have the weight, height, milestones, and loves. And it's one tag per month. Now I wanted to make sure to include these in case you wanted to capture those moments. Now, as you can see, there's a little tab here and this flips up to the left. Underneath, <laughs> we have, <laughs> she's so adorable. I can't handle it. Um, this is a three and a half by three and a half photo, but for this and many of the photo spots throughout the album, I use these clear photo corners. And what makes that great is that she can take out the photo and if she wanted to put in a new one, she could do that. 
I've added the photos the way that I like them, you know, she might get it and want to put it in a different order. So I wanted to make sure that she had that option. Down below, there is a journaling card where she could just do a little journaling. So throughout the album, I did not put a photo in every little photo spot. I wanted her to be able to do that as well. So in that case, I used a photo mat that I created here. And I did, again, put that in with clear photo corners. So the option still exists. She would just remove this little insert and then put her photo in. But what's great is this tells her what size to use. So in the center between the two photos, I've just added a little um, ephemera piece here that says Sweet Dreams. So these fit three by four and a half photos. So this then pulls out to the right. And when we do, we have this beautiful five by seven photo. <laughs> See how the design is boho in the back? I love it. I added this little sticker here that says crib hair, don't care. <laughs> and then on this side, what I've done is created two little tuck spots on each side. I used a doily punch to create this scallop edging. I just love that paper, it's so cute. And this is a four by four card. A photo could be added to the back side of that. This does have a magnet closure here and this is magnetically closed as well. Each of the pages have a page insert, and when you pull this out, this measures seven and three-fourths by seven and three-fourths. I've added a jump ring as well as a charm for each of the pages, and they're all baby-themed. And on the front of this insert, I've just added some pattern paper here, with some solid in the background, and then I just added some gingham ribbon here to separate it so that you'd know there was a pocket. On this image, I've added a sticker that says cutie pie. So although I only have one photo in this pocket, you could include more than one, as well as add photos to the back side. On the back side, again, I've just used some of the pattern paper to create uh, different configurations. And I've added a chipboard piece, which I actually cut down. So I tore off a lot of the chipboard and just put the top piece here. Added a sticker piece here. And then another photo spot for a three by four and a half photo. Now another photo can go here as well. I just didn't emphasize that. So here you can see the clear photo corners. I had those in my stash for a long time. This was perfect for them. And then this just slips right in there and I bring it all the way up until we get to the jump ring so this can dangle. This is really pretty when you're setting it up like this. If you close it on your shelf, you can see the little danglies. <laughs> on the back of our first page, we have a pocket and on the front of it, I've created another little pocket with one of the journaling cards. Inside, you'll see one of the little monthly tags. On each of those, I added some of this metallic uh, ribbon and I've used my tiny attacher to attach that. In this pocket, I have another one of the tags as well as a four by six journaling card, which a photo could be added to the back side of that. And then I did add in this photo. Now what's nice about these, I printed them at home and they're nice and white on the back and it's more like a card stock on the back side. So you could add a photo, you could journal on the back of them, whatever you like. So when we lift up the top of our pocket, on the back of it, we see two little elements and these are stickers from the sticker sheet. And then I've added a photo here at the top with some decorative paper on each side and added these again with the clear photo corner so that could be removed. On the front of our second page, we have a six and a half by six and a half inch insert that acts as our page closure and it tucks into these little corners where I've used some chipboard elements as well as a little sticker here. This was a fun insert to create. We used the two by two elements to create this design. 
What's great about this element is that you could take your photos and cut them down to the two by two size and insert them here on the four corners. So that's just another fun way to create a page layout. On the back side, I've added some patterned paper, some of the little elements from the ephemera pieces, and then I've added a four by six photo mat here. Again, you could take this out and insert a photo real easy. Here are our gatefold doors, and these open up to the left and right. And in the center, we have another one of the Boho Baby frames. Again, I peeled off a lot of the backing and just I glued this one down so it's not an insert, so the image stays there. But it says, Some Bunny Loves You. So cute. On the right hand side here, I inserted a panel of a daddy and baby. And we have this cute little sticker here at the top. And then on the left side, we have Mama and Baby. <laughs> and we have another sticker here where I'd use to just decorate it. Now, when I lift this up, we have a twist and pop feature. So cute. So I'm gonna hold it up like this so I can show you all the elements. On the back of our lift up page, we have a pocket here and inside I included another one of these little monthly tags as well as a photo. And this one I backed on some cardstock. So you could write on the back, add a photo on the back. You could even add more than one photos to this pocket. And then this is the twist and pop feature. So again, you just lift this section up here, twist and pop. And what I've done is I've cut down a journal card to go on this panel. And then we have the three images that go together. Today I am one month old. So sweet. <laughs> I just love seeing the images. And then on the bottom, I've added some patterned paper as well as some solid cardstock. I really liked using solid cardstock to just give your eyes a place to rest with all the patterns and the colors. And then we have the little couple there. <laughs> it's hard to show the photos with all this glare. So I just love how that turned out. Super cute. And here is our page insert. And for this one, I created a side pocket. I added some ribbon going on the edge. And then on the insert, I just created a four by four card out of the two by two sheet. And again, you could add a photo here on the back. You could insert photos directly into the pocket. I added one of the uh, sticker elements here. I love the little banner, just so cute. And then here is the little charm for that one, a little baby onesie. <laughs> On the back side, we have a five by seven photo area. And again, I used pattern paper to decorate as well as another sticker. You could put a like in stack photo here on the side if you wanted. On the back of page two, we have our little photo flip ups. I added a four by six journaling card here, which I cut down a little bit. This has a magnetic closure. And when you flip this up, we have our little adorable one here. It says a cute and cuddly sticker I've added. And what I've done is added these clear photo corners to each of the photo flip ups. Now I did not add photos to each of these because there are so many photo spots in this mini album. I didn't count them all, but there's a lot. So I didn't have that many photos. <laughs> but there is plenty of room to grow with this, which I love, and she can just continue to add her photos to it. So this is all set for a cut down four by six. It's just slightly cut down, but you could easily remove this photo and then use this as your template to cut out your other photos. It's one of the things that, that's really nice when you're giving a gift such as a mini album is giving them templates to use to cut out their photos or just to know what size photo goes where. Really nice for them. 
On the base page, I added a four by six journaling card, which I created into a pocket. And then inside I put four of the tags. I didn't have a whole lot of um, areas where I could add them coming forward. So I kind of um, just used the first couple pages to include the monthly tags. And then here is page three, where I put the rest of the tags. So this has two pockets and then it's stacked on top of another pocket. So on the front here, I just added decorative paper as well as some stickers. And then we have two more little tags. I'm gonna take these out so you can just see how this lays out. So I put two tags in each pocket. And in the back here, I added a little um, tab to this four by six journaling card. And on the back, I added one. <laughs> She's so cute. I added this adorable little image and one of the little stickers here. Now I cut this down to be small on purpose. I don't know why, I just wanted to do it that way. But here is the page layout. So this is a full page in the back. This is dimensional, so you could add several different photos or little booklets in here if you wanted to. And here is our page insert. This is one of the three by four journaling cards. This is one of the cut apart cards. And then I've used some pattern paper here to offset the rest. Again, we have the clear photo corners. Here is our little charm. And on the back, I did something different. I actually wanted to make this a pocket, but I totally forgot and glued the whole thing down. So I'm really just kind of liking how this turned out. You can add a photo here. You could add a photo over here. You could actually put like two small photos and one larger photo here. Super fun. This is a sticker. I just love these. They're so nice. And then I added some of the rainbow bits over here. Just so much fun. I really, really loved this collection and I'm so glad I did it uh, for this album. So on the back of page three, we have a pull push waterfall. And I say that because you're pulling down before you push up. And on the front here, I've added a little sticker that says cute and cuddly. And then I actually used photos to create this waterfall. So there is no cardstock involved except for the base. I've added a ribbon pull tab here that says it's a girl. And a four by six journal card that I cut down here at the bottom. Now another photo could be placed here or another journal card or decorations or journaling spots. And even you could add journaling to the back of the photos. You could add another photo to the back of each one of these. Plenty of room for photos. Mama and baby. <laughs> I don't know if you wanna see all the baby pictures, but she's so cute. Okay. <laughs> On the front of page four, we have another fun pop-up feature. Now, if I hope she'll see this video or she'll actually see this, but I added a little arrow here with a little pull and you lift this up and over. And it's like a little window frame is what I called it. And it flips open to show you two little photos. Again, I used the photo corners. It was a little tough to get in there, but I just thought that that was needed so that she can still have the freedom of the photos. Underneath the window frames, if you look here and here, I used some solid cardstock and some stickers. And then I, I added one little photo in there. I kind of shrunk it down to put it in there. She's winking. It's so adorable. It's like she's winking at you through the window. Just too cute. Two months in this one so fun but this has a magnetic closure now i did notice that for some reason the paper is kind of not like laying flat here so to to turn it i would just make sure to put your hand there if that happens to you because otherwise it will run into the back of page three at the top of this page is an actual pocket and it's very dimensional. You can put many different photos in there, journaling cards, whatever you want. I inserted this journaling card uh, just as an example. 
that's a sticker from the sticker sheet. These are little stickers as well. And for the insert, we have another little charm. It's a safety pin. And I actually did something different with this insert. I went into Adobe Photoshop and created layouts, and then I printed them out on photo paper. So I did use a template to create these layouts, but I did change some of the wording and some of the elements just to go along with this, the theme. So here is the back side. I just love how this turned out. Added the Mary and Bright and Baby First sticker there. So cute. You could just take this and use it in a frame or just set it out. Uh, I just love doing the layouts. It was so much easier than putting all of those elements on the inserts. Um, I will say that using the photo paper does make this insert a little bit thicker than the rest, um, but it still fits in there nicely. So let's go to the back of page four, and what we have here is a split belly band, and inside we have little booklets. I created a little one photo mat layout uh, so that you know you can add little photos down here as well. You can add one three and a fourth by five and a fourth inch photo up here at the top. I did leave the back blank. You could write on here, you could add a photo on here, just so many different things that you could do with these inserts. There's the second one. I just love this image. And inside I put it down here. Again, you could put one large photo up here, a couple small ones, and the back is blank. I really just love how this split belly band works. It holds in your booklets securely. They don't fall out. I just love it. On the back inside cover, I created a little bit of a, like, it's kind of a collage layout. I used one of the uh, journal tags here, some rainbow bits, some stickers, just some chipboard stickers as well. Another one of the photo frames that I created into a pocket, as you can see there using adhesive foam. So this pulls out. Again, you have that boho baby theme, just perfect. And you could add one to the back. So that is our eight by eight interactive mini album. I hope that you all have enjoyed this series as much as I have. It's been so fun to create this and to create it for my niece. I feel very blessed to have done this for her and I'm excited for her to receive it. And if you like this video as well as the series, please leave a comment below. Don't forget to smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe because I am coming back with another baby project. I've already provided a sneak peek in part three of this video series. So let me give you another sneaky peek real quick. This is it. That's all I'm going to show. <laughs> but I'll be coming back with that as well as a tutorial. I look forward to seeing you then. Thanks so much for joining me.